Are you looking to buy some new shirts but have no idea what to look for or what types of shirts you actually need in your closet? If you are, then make sure you watch this full video because in this video, I'll be going over the best shirts that every guy should own. And these shirts I'm going to mention in this video are essential pieces that you can wear every day no matter what the occasion is. And these shirts that I'm going to be covering will form many, many outfits that you can wear. So that way you can save some money, don't have to buy a whole bunch of shirts, as these mentioned in the videos are the best shirts that you should own, starting with not the first shirt. The first shirt I want to recommend that every guy should own is a plain black V-neck long sleeve shirt. This is an instant classic. This would never go out of style. This should be an essential piece that you should own. It does not get more essential than this. A V-neck long sleeve shirt can actually dress it up uh, by wearing it under a blazer or dress it down by just wearing casual clothing or jeans. And the good thing with V-neck's um, long sleeve is that it actually makes you look more bigger and muscular than you actually are. And if you want a more muscular look, you can actually roll up your sleeves. Um, that way it looks more masculine. Moving along to number two, the second shirt I want to recommend that every guy should own is a short sleeve version of the V-neck. So V-necks are very versatile. Even if you gain some weight, the, a V-neck may still fit you compared to a crew neck because you actually have more room in the uh, neck area here. And the good thing with V-necks, something like this, is you can actually dress it with a uh, um, dress pants or wear it with, uh, with jeans. So it's very, very versatile. And this something like this should be a main staple in your closet. And if you do buy a V-neck uh, short sleeve or a long sleeve, I would suggest going for something with uh, not so much of a deep V. And I would suggest you go for colors like uh, solid black, navy blue, white or gray as these will never go out of style okay moving along the next shirts that i recommend that every guy should own are solid colored crew neck long sleeve or short sleeve these uh, also would never go out of style these are available every season that you can buy um, especially in these colors navy blue or gray and I think these should be main staples that you should own in your closet. If you do buy a crew neck, a long sleeve or a short sleeve, just make sure it fits you well and you don't want to buy something too loose. And also look for something that is not too tight in the neck area here. Um, if it's too tight, you got to size up. And you can actually wear these under a blazer and they'll still look very, very uh, good. So a... Um, crew neck long sleeve or a short sleeve is also a must have for every guy in their wardrobe. Okay, moving along. The next pair of shirts I want to go through is a Henley long sleeve or a Henley short sleeve. Henleys are basically a best kept secret for men's shirts as it's not very common, but if you do wear it, it looks very good on you and you can actually stand out from the crowd. A good thing about a Henley is that it's basically like a best of both worlds. You can actually button it up to wear as a crew neck or you can actually unbutton it as a v-neck. So, And also you can choose how much cleavage you want to show um, and also it'll actually look more muscular just like a v-neck. And also the good thing with uh, Henleys are even if you gain some weight, if it's fitting tight on you, just unbutton some uh, buttons and you'll have a comfortable fit on a long sleeve form or a short sleeve. So a Henley is also something I recommend that every guy should own. And it's uh, also very, very versatile. If you do buy a Henley, I would suggest you buy something that fits you well, as you don't want to buy something that is uh, too uh, tight or too loose. Okay, moving along. The next shirt I want to recommend is a plain black polo tee. This one will also never go out of style. You can actually dress it up with uh, dress pants. Um, it will still look good. And the good thing is with a plain black polo tee, it's got ribbed sleeves on the side here. So that way it fits closer to your biceps, making you uh, look more muscular. And also these are instant classics. These will never go out of style. And if you do um, go for something like this, a plain black polo, I would suggest try to find something with more of a stretch. If it's cotton, it might get, uh, it might, uh, it might shrink in the wash. 
and um, try to find something with a uh, split side if possible on a uh, polo, polo, uh, polo shirt. And you can actually wear this with a belt and a dress pants and it still looks very, very good. Okay, moving along is a dress shirt. Everyone needs a dress shirt in their wardrobe, even if you don't work at the office as you might need one um, during some formal occasions. Um, if you do go for a dress shirt, I would suggest go to for something like a wrinkle-free uh, stretch dress shirt. That way you can save some time, you don't have to iron it. If I crunch this up, this is a wrinkle-free dress shirt. It goes back to its form. And even if you travel, you can actually wear this on a plane, on a long bus trip. It will still feel too uh, comfortably, just like a casual long sleeve. So a wrinkle-free uh, stretch dress shirt is something I recommend that every guy should own. Uh, most stretch shirts on the market are made of cotton and they might shrink in the wash. Uh, if you go for something with a more of a stretch, it, it won't shrink as much. And um, if you do buy a dress shirt, I would suggest that you look for something that fits you perfectly on the shoulders as the, um, the best thing, the main thing of buying a dress shirt is the fit. And also, if you, uh, just in case you have to wear a tie, make sure you can button up the top button and it's not too tight on the uh, neck area for you, okay? So uh, a wrinkle-free stretch dress shirt is a must-have for every guy in their wardrobe. Okay, moving along is a V-neck uh, cashmere sweater. Um, this is perfect if you want to wear it over a dress shirt. It's perfect for work or it's perfect for more formal events. Um, the good thing with a cashmere is that it's very, very light and it's actually very, very warm. I would actually recommend this over a wool sweater as um, it's going to keep you warm during the uh, fall and uh, winter months. It might be a little bit pricey, but it actually it is worth it. If you do buy a, a cashmere sweater, I would suggest you um, wear it over a long sleeve. Don't wear it under a short sleeve as it might itch. And also, if you're going to wash a um, cashmere sweater, make sure you hand wash it with cold water and just let it dry on its own. Uh, don't run it through the dryer as uh, it might ruin it. Um, so make sure you just let it dry to keep it in uh, good condition for a uh, cashmere sweater. Okay, moving along. The last shirt I want to go through is a mock turtleneck. Um, compared to a regular turtleneck, where if the neck area uh, it, it's going to cover up more of your neck area, it might it might be more tighter. So a mock a turtleneck is actually good because it won't have the constraint on your neck, but at the same time keep you warm, keep the air from blowing into your neck, even if you were not wearing your scarf. So a mock turtleneck is very very um, versatile, and actually it will look good if you wear it under a blazer. Um, if you want to do like a business casual kind of look so this would be perfect um, and it does not irritate your neck area as much because it's not too high of a uh, turtleneck so a mock turtleneck is something i re recommend every guy should have and if you do buy a mock turtleneck like this i would suggest uh, make sure you size up you don't want anything too tight on the neck area as you might start to get rashes or itch and if you if possible try to look for something like this like a polyester kind of material if you go for wool or cotton it might itch you so so make sure if you could find something like this find a polyester version okay so this is a shirt that i recommend that every guy should own so this wraps up my video of the best shirts that i think every guy should own i hope it gives you more of an idea of what to shop for next if you're missing any of these shirts mentioned in this video i hope you found this video helpful i hope you found it insightful once again you don't need too many shirts but you only need the best ones so, and these ones in the video are the ones that i think are the best for guys and i think every guy should own these shirts that i talked about in this video once again if you're into uh, men's fashion style trends and styling tips make sure you subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy this video, make, please make sure you to give it a thumbs up, share it, and also comment down below. And if there's a shirt that I missed out that you think every guy should own, please let me know in the comments below. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.